he said no you're not going to do something at the next stop you're going to do something right now this woman says she's being harassed and you're not going to do anything what's up welcome back to my channel um by the title you guys can already tell this is going to be a story time video and i'm sorry if you're like watching this on an angle i'm balancing on books like i was just too lazy to get my tripod out but yeah, so I'm gonna tell you guys about the worst bus ride I have ever had. I swear to God, this was the worst bus ride I've ever had. Okay, start. Um, I was going to Canada. I know. I took the bus to Canada. And I took the bus from New York to Canada, so it was supposed to be like a 12 hour ride, but ended up being like 14 hours. So, um, here's how it started being horrible. Um, I'm in class, I had to rush from school. Um, my class ended at 9.10 and the bus left at 10.30. And um, from my school to the bus was 20 minutes. So I asked my teacher to leave a little early just cause I didn't want to be late. And I also didn't want to be in the back of the bus. So I, uh, my boyfriend meets me at school. We take the train together, rush there. Um, we were thinking we're gonna get there super early, but no, by the time we get there, it's like 10 minutes until boarding and their line is already long as hell so we're already at the end of the line whatever you know at least we're there so then we're trying to get on the bus and you know when you print your tickets i printed my tickets out at school you know you print your tickets out at school schools like to conserve paper so they print it on the front and back so when i went to hand the lady my tickets she's like you can't have two tickets for two different people on one ticket i'm like but it's two separate tickets like one's on the front one's on the back she's like no that's not gonna work I'm like, okay. She's like, you guys have to get off the line and wait so we can see if we can scan another copy. This is when I'm getting annoyed because now all the seats are going to be taken. So then I remember I printed out another copy, but um, the reason I didn't use the first copy was because um, I printed it out at my boyfriend's house and they were running out of ink. So the, it was like really light, but the barcodes were like printed really thick. So I remembered and then I pulled that out and I gave it to her and she's like, oh, well now you still have to wait because you still have to wait okay so we have to wait for the last people to get on the bus i'm already annoyed because now there's no seats luckily when we get on the bus um we walk all the way to the end and there's this girl sitting in the seat and she's really nice and she's like if you guys want to sit next to me so that you guys can at least like sit next to each other um from across the aisle like you can i'm like thank you that was really nice of you so i sit down i'm like annoyed because the bus driver oh excuse me the ticket lady pissed me off and then come to find out the ticket lady is my bus driver go figure right so then the bus driver had already gotten my nerves. So I'm like, I got a long ass ride. At least this bus has Wi-Fi. I pull out my iPad and I start watching, uh, I forgot what I was watching, but I was watching something on YouTube. I was watching somebody's vlog and it was like 20 minutes long. So I'm like, it's like a good long vlog. So I start the vlog um, after the bus starts moving about 10 minutes into the ride, I start the vlog. As soon as I start the vlog, um, some man comes by and he bumps me accidentally, but I'm sitting right by the bathroom, so like, it's tight space, so I'm like, I'm not offended or anything, I'm just like, oh, like, maybe I'm like, a little too far on the aisle. And then, um, he never goes into the bathroom, he just lays on the bathroom door, and I'm thinking like, oh, he's just waiting, because somebody's probably in the bathroom. I don't know, I'm not paying attention, I'm watching videos. So I'm watching this long ass 20 minute video. Um, about 15 minutes later literally the video is almost over there's only a couple seconds left i was laughing throughout the whole video haha ha. like and you know when you're watching something on an ipad like the screen's kind of big and i have an ipad mini still but the screen's kind of big like way bigger than your phone so you're watching something it's like really like captivating like it's like you're watching fucking tv so i'm like into this shit i'm laughing at the vlog ha ha and then the vlog's about to end, so like I'm about to go to close it out, and all of a sudden I see a hand reach over and grab my iPad. I'm like, I pull my iPad down in disbelief, like, did that really just happen? And then all of a sudden the hand comes again. I turn around, I pull my iPad down. I turn around, it's the man who bumped me and who's standing still on the bathroom door. I'm like, um, excuse me, and I want the fuck off, I'm not gonna lie. I turned around and I'm like, excuse me, who the fuck are you? Do you know me? No, you don't. Why are you touching my shit? Did you buy this? No, you didn't. Why are you touching my shit? And my boyfriend's sitting right next to me. And of course he's pissed because he's like, why are you touching my girlfriend's shit? Like, what, what's wrong with you? And then a lot of people who are on the bus are like, start turning around because obviously they hear that he's harassing somebody on the bus. 
And then the only thing he says literally is, he turns around and he looks my boyfriend in the eyes and goes, I'm fucked up. <clears throat> my boyfriend's like, I don't care. Take your fucked up ass to the front of the bus. And he's just standing here, staring at my boyfriend's face. He's like, go, go to the front of the bus. So finally the guy starts walking away. He doesn't even get halfway down the bus before I hear a woman start screaming, help, help. Oh my God, he's harassing me. No one's doing anything. She screams again. Is no one going to do anything? Somebody is harassing me. No one does anything. The man is sitting in front of her. <clears throat> Sorry. The man sitting in front of her starts screaming at the bus driver like, Don't you hear this woman saying she's being harassed? You're not going to do anything? The bus driver's like, um, I'll, I'll do something at the stop, at the next stop, which was in two hours. He said, no, you're not going to do something at the next stop. You're going to do something right now. This woman says she's being harassed and you're not going to do anything. So the woman stops the bus and the guy, the same guy who's just um, trying to take my iPad out of my hands is the same guy who's harassing the woman in the middle of the bus. Go figure, right? I, he's just touching her. <coughs> I'm sorry. He's just touching her and I don't know why the fuck he's touching her, but you know, he said, I'm fucked up. So I guess that's his fucking excuse for why he's just doing all these weird things to everybody. So then he's fucking touching her and the bus driver finally stops him. And what does she do? She's like, okay, you're gonna sit in the front of the bus because he, he offended two people in five minutes and your solution is make him sit in the front of the bus. Okay. So he's sitting on the front of the bus about 20 minutes later, somebody else complains. He slapped the man sitting next to him, just slapped him. Why? Who fucking knows? He just, something's wrong with him. He's fucked up. So he slaps this man on the front of the bus and um, he's screaming at the bus driver like, this man just slapped me like, you're not gonna do anything. So finally, bus driver finally pulls fuck over and calls the cops. Um, we have to sit there and wait for about 30 minutes. Uh, 30 minutes later, the cops come, which is annoying that we're just sitting there and waiting for 30 minutes on the side of the road, like, and we had just got out of Jersey, like we're going to Canada. We went through the city, we just got out of Jersey. I didn't know where the fuck we were, like Pennsylvania or Philly or one of those states, but we're over there. And the cops come on the bus and he's going around the bus and he's asking everybody like, um, who did he harass? He was like, he's asking people in the front and he's like, somebody in the back of the bus, he harassed somebody in the back. And I'm like, I gotta raise my hand. Like there's cop, like he's asking questions. So I raise my hand and the cop comes over to me to like fill out a police report and he's like, um, what did the guy do? I told him like how he's trying to snatch my iPad on my hands and he's like, did you ever offer him the iPad? Like, no, I don't know this guy. He's like, do you know him? No, I don't know this guy. He's like, so you never talked to this man before ever? No, I don't know this guy. He's like, okay. Like, and then he asked me for my number and I forgot his name, but he had a really cool name. I remember I was like, that's your real name? He's like, yeah, I was like, wow, that's a cool name. Of course it's a real name, like it's a fucking officer. But yeah, he had a um, cool name, but I don't remember it, so whatever. Um, yeah, so then the he gets off the bus, he comes back on the bus and he's like, okay, does anybody know this man? And I think one person knew him, but like they weren't like claiming him. And everyone's like, no. So like this guy has no idea on him. We have no idea who he is. Um, so we're gonna take him. I don't know how he planned on getting across the border with no ID on him, but Okay, so yeah, the police took him away and Finally, we continue on our bus ride and from there, you know, it was less tragic, but it was still a really long uncomfortable boring ride But yeah, that's all that's my story about the fucking crazy guy who harassed me and how I had to fill out a police sport on my way to fucking Canada. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.